Well, if you haven't been paying attention, Arkansas has a few problems. One is highway funding. The cost of highway construction is going up, but Arkansas's main funding mechanism for roads, the gas tax, can't keep up, primarily because fuel efficiency keeps improving, and that brings in less gas tax revenue. So what are we to do? My three guests are hoping to be part of a solution. I'm joined by Craig Douglas with the Good Roads Foundation, Shannon Great. Newton with the Arkansas Trucking Association, and Chris Valines with the Association of Arkansas Counties. That's a lot of titles. That's a mouthful. I get an A-plus for that, <laughs> at least. All right. I want to talk to you. You guys are all uh, connected into the working group that's going on with all the uh, stuff that is happening up at the state capitol. I'll just start with you, Craig, and let's just uh, go around the table. Do you feel like progress is being made on this issue? Because there was a Blue Ribbon Commission a few years ago that came out with some recommendations, too. Progress is being made because a number of the Blue Ribbon, Rib, Blue Ribbon recommendations have been updated, even if to determine how much revenue they would, they would uh, create for, for more uh, highway construction and maintenance. So in that respect, yes, there is progress being made. But I think what you have to look at is we have a new governor. We have a new structure in the legislature. Uh, and whether we're looking at the old blue ribbon recommendations or some new recommendations or updated recommendations, it's, it's a whole new playing field. And so that's why the working group, I, I think the work is important and it's relevant. What, is, what are your truckers saying, Shannon? Well, as a both contributor and consumer of the roads in Arkansas, you know, it's really important to us that we get sufficient in, investment in the infrastructure so that we can move safely and efficiently and, and frankly, the elevation of the discussion and the fact that we're talking about it is progress and, and movement in the right direction. But I do hope that we'll, able to, we'll be able to move towards some actual action on this issue. Maybe the action will be to pile on to the counties and the cities with some stuff. What do you, what's your take on what's well, going on, Chris? You know, <laughs> Roby, I'm glad you, you mentioned that. We've got about 70,000 miles of county roads in this state, or about 70% of the overall highway system is in the, in the counties. And so, uh, we just we we do recognize the need for additional revenue out there. We've got bridges and county roads in bad shape, and and uh, the gas tax is not keeping up with uh, uh, keeping pace with the inflation. So, certainly like some of the ideas being thrown out there, and we're going to go through them and vet them. Let's talk about some of these, and I'm going to start with the Good Roads Foundation one first. Um, Craig, I believe we've got a graphic on this. Our super producer Rusty today. Uh, I'm going to boil this down to some simplicity. You can flush it out, whatever I might leave out in terms of details. Raise the motor fuel tax 10 cents, offset that by a phased in transfer from general revenues of the car related sales taxes. You buy some used tires, you buy a used car, or something like that, maybe new tires, not used tires. Index the fuel tax to the construction cost index is how you want to index that. What am I leaving out and why is this the best method? Well, two of the most important components of that are we believe in order to get immediate revenue, uh, that we need to raise the gas tax 10 cents as soon as possible. Uh, and as you raise the gas tax, you also put in, as you noted, the what we have pared down to just the sales tax on new and used vehicles, no other uh, highway, no other uh, vehicle related, related sales tax. So as you phase in the sales tax on new and used vehicles, then you bring the 10 cent gasoline and diesel tax back down. So you have an offset, which legislators tell us uh, is politically realistic, uh, that if you don't have an offset, you're not going to get a gas tax increase. So we think those two things combined take care of an immediate need, and when you transfer the sales tax on new and used vehicles, that gives you a long-term solution. All right, another proposal that's being floated out there, at least from the commission meeting this past, or the uh, working group meeting this past week, Frank Scott, highway commissioner, was on the show this past week. He came out with a five cent fuel tax increase over the next three years. Um, and also to index the fuel tax to the consumer price index is where he suggested on that one. And then uh, last week we had Representative Andy Davis on the show. He threw out a series of cobbled together things to try to get you to the $110 million. Raise the di diesel fuel tax 10 cents with some sort of offset grocery tax, income tax reduction. Sales tax rebates for road construction materials, redirecting some money from general revenue and central services and a user fee for highways, which I don't know what a user fee for highways is, but uh, Shannon, I will come to you. You've got three kind of different thoughts there. Where, where is there some consensus, do you think? Sure. Um, I've actually worked with Representative Davis um, extensively, and, and I want to thank him. He's put a lot of effort and a lot of thought into the list of items that he's come up with. <clears throat> Obviously, there is the diesel tax increase. That's one of his components, and so um, that's 
very sensitive to us and it's something that we brought to the table. We are willing to, to increase our diesel fuel tax. Four cents? Five cents. Five cents, all right. Um, five cents difficult. is what we've, we've agreed to, and um, I think that gets us about $60 million to the highway department. I think before we can start talking about new revenue, I think it's a fair conversation to have to make sure that we're spending the money that we have correctly right. um, and efficiently. And so some of those things, you know, he's made a lot of comments about the couch cushions and things of that nature, and I think that's fair. I think in order to go to the legislature and say we need money, that we've got to, you know, make sure that we're spending all the money that we have appropriately. So. Mm -hmm. The combination of things that he's cobbled together, I think, meets the short-term need. I still think that there's a lot of distance uh, when you get to the when you get to a long-term solution. I think there's a, a lot of distance amongst the committee. All right, Chris, your take. There's a lot of diversity among those ideas, which I think is very helpful in this discussion. I, and I also agree with something you mentioned earlier. We're bringing the discussion out so that the people of Arkansas can begin to hear it. Now, I don't want to lose sight of the fact that this is a governor's working group. It starts with the word governor. So ultimately, these decisions, these ideas will be kicked up to his office. And so what we want to do is we want to watch and see which idea has political merit from his standpoint. Right. Make sure that it's something that wouldn't affect us negatively in the county road system uh, and take a close look at that. And Well, and you're bringing me to my next point there. The yes. political reality is there is some stuff that sounds good on paper, looks good on paper, but there is also the politics of this, what can get through uh, an Arkansas legislature. I, I'll work my way back around from sure, you, Chris, sure. on that. What do you think is politically realistic? I don't know. I think we're <laughs> in changing times. I wish I could tell you, but I've seen a lot of things happen over the past few years I wouldn't have expected to and vice versa. And so I, I think a lot of it depends on the leadership of the folks in the industry, the cities, the counties, the highway commission, leadership within the governor's office. I think what we have to do is we have to find a plan out there that all of these leaders in our state will embrace and pursue together. And if we're working together on that and articulating the need well out to the state, mm -hmm. anything's possible. Shannon, what's politically realistic? <clears throat> well, based on the rhetoric of the legislators that are on the committee, not a lot is politically realistic. <laughs> um, so I think that, you know, to your point, we've got cities and counties that are championing the issue. We've got our industry that's championing the issue. You've got the, the chamber and their involvement, the highway department. It seems as though we have a lot of champions on the outside, but we don't have anybody on the inside that's willing to take a leadership role. And so I think that that's really, you know, what we're looking for is some legislators to take up the issue and really put effort into solving the problem, or of course the executive branch lending some political capital to the Last issue. Last word to you, Craig Douglas. Well, I think if legislators would talk to their folks back home, they would remember and realize that uh, the folks back home will support increases uh, in revenue for highways. They did in 2012. 58% of the Arkansans that voted in the general election passed a half cent sales tax that went directly to highways, uh, to a highway department that ranks in the top three in terms of efficiency. Yeah. So I think it is doable. All right, Craig Douglas, Shannon Newton, Chris Valines, thank y'all all very much for being here, appreciate it, and we will stay in touch on all of this. Thank and you. thank you very much for being here with this uh, week's edition of Talk Business and Politics. A quick programming note, beginning next week, Talk Business and Politics moves back a half hour to 9.30 in the morning. Cheryl Atkinson uh, debuts her new show, Full Measure, at 9 a.m., so be sure and tune in for that. If you DVR our program, make sure to reset your settings for Talk Business and Politics. I'm Roby Brock. Have a busy and a productive week, and we'll see you next time.